highest grade from the RV Keys, along with my cameraman, Ben. And I uh, just wanted to let you see some things that we do to help our cats sleep and feel secure inside the RV. First off, you need to make sure you have plenty of toys. You have a bag full. They often get very scattered when uh, we stop at a, a campsite, so make sure you pick them all up so they don't get caught under a slide. But, you know, little things like a mouse or a long thing like this goes a long way into helping the cats play. But you also have to have a place for them to rest. And we have found each of our cats prefer a different form of um, bed or a resting area. And one cat, catch a can loves these little houses. This has a little scratching pad at the bottom. It has a roof and actually looks like a small little house. And you can actually find these on Amazon and sometimes in your local grocery stores. We have two of these and we keep them literally underneath our dining room table, pushed all the way to the back like that. And then we have plenty of room for Ben and I to sit here and have our morning coffee or whatever we like to do. And then we have to have other sleeping places because obviously we have more than the one cat. And Catch a Kid seems to want to make several appearances today. So maybe he might be the star of the show. So moving on back to the coach, when we start up the motor, usually what happens with our cats is they dive behind our theater seating. And we have one back here and one back here. And usually Gremlin has a special hiding place in the back of the coach. Gremlin. If you remember, our very first coach was named Moby, and this is Moby. And Ben, my sweetheart, gave this to me, and he gave it to me for Valentine's Day. But it seems to be Gremlin's favorite thing. She usually comes and hides under here when she's feeling scared or threatened or when we're driving. But you see we have a couple boxes here. Sometimes they sleep on the bed. Sometimes we put them on the floor at night. But our ingenious plan was we have a queen size bed and let me tell you, two people and three cats do not work. So what we've done is we have a couple of beds. We have corrugated cardboard beds. Our cats seem to like these kind for some reason. And so we got two of those down here, but we have three cats. So after looking around, we've got a stool and a wooden serving tray, which we put a blanket in to make it a little softer. And voila, we have bunk beds for two cats and an extra bed over here for the third cat. Hey honey, how do we keep that thing from moving around when we're traveling? Well, as my husband is very handy. He managed to add some um, self-adhesive grip pads on the bottom of these four legs, which keeps it pretty sturdy from moving around. That's good, good. He's a handy guy. Yes, he is. And voila, we basically have resolved our problem of sleeping in the bed. We have to sleep in it by ourselves. The cats are able to watch our every move. So if we get up to go to the bathroom or something, boom, they're right there. And, uh, but it does make for a much more peaceful time in our coach. And remember, the RV keys, opening doors and starting your adventures. We hope you'll hit the like and subscribe buttons down there. If you have any comments about your cats or how they sleep in your coach, please note those down in the comments too. We would love to hear from you. Have a great day, folks.